Hey guys, this is Amit. It's been a while since I created my last video. Um, I came across this uh, free SSL certificate for all, um, uh, free HTTPS for all. Um, so, uh, and I actually did configure one of my um, website with this uh, free SSL certificate and it seems to work great. So I just thought I would share, you know, I mean, it costs at least a hundred dollars, you know, give and take uh, to get a SSL certificate, and so you can do this for free. So okay, um, let me start with um, uh, there is this um, website called Get HTTPS for Free. So you see that website? It's w HTTPS colon slash slash Get HTTPS for Free dot com. Okay, so there are two ways of doing this. This is more like a manual process you can do, uh, follow here. It's not too hard. So um, let's go through the manual process first and then um, we'll we'll talk about the, uh, you know, there's a little tool, a Python tool, I think, um, that can um, take care of all this uh, in a snap, okay? So um, so it is basically, uh, uh, it's, it's um, a company called, uh, let me bring it up here. Um, let's encrypt. So it's a, it's a new certificate authority. It's free, automated, and open. And uh, by open, it means that you know it used to be by invitation only. So now they are open to public. It's in public beta. So all right, let's let's go through this. Uh, I will try to make the video as short as possible um, while also making sure everyone who watches this video um, is able to. Um, create the SSL certificate for their website. Um, I mean, you know, you need to have knowledge of basic Linux, but, you know, uh, we'll try to keep it as simple as possible. All right. So you go to this website. There's this first step is to create the account info. So this, it requires you to create a account key, account public key and a private key before you can do this. So um, so what you do is in the step one, you put your email address for the domain and then um, you create a public key. So if you look at this little, how do I generate this uh, box here, um, link here. So it gives you basically the command that you can run to uh, create that account key. So we just go in there, uh, we run it, okay. And then we use that public key to, uh, pr sorry, the private key to create a public key. Okay, so this is our public key, All right? Um, we put it in here, validate the account info, so it says it looks good. So now we need to, the next step is to generate the certificate signing request, a CSR, right? So, I mean, you, uh, if you have done the other certificates um, in the past, uh, self-signed or, you know, signed by the authority, you should be, um, you should be familiar with this. Uh, if you are not, you just click on the how do I generate this and then it, it gives you the command. Right, so what we are going to do is we are going to generate a private key to um, initiate the, to create the CSR. Now, now you need to create the CSR for the domains you want to search for. So here, open SSL, REQ, you know, I mean, I'll just command. So I have already replaced the domain with the omnibal.com and www.omnibal.com. You can include as many domains as you want here. Okay. Um, all right, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just putting the this um, Nepal.com and www.amnepal.com. The other thing you need to notice is this. This guy here, it says that for Debian, this is the location of the OpenSSL.cnf. This is for CentOS Red Hat, which is the case with us. And this is the Mac OS X. So I've already updated all that. Uh, and so let me just run this command here. So we get this certificate signing request or the CSR. So um, actually you can just copy it from here. So now we go in there, we put the certificate signing request to validate the CSR, right? Okay, so now proceed to step three. So now we need to run this command. It gives us the hexadecimal output we need to put in here. So let's do that. So you copy in here. I mean, you can actually, you know, just copy this guy here. Put put this in. Copy the next one. Put this in here. 
I'll copy this guy paste it here uh, we go to this we copy this and paste it there the fourth one is going to be a little you know bigger than it looks kind of confusing so i cleared it out this is the whole command so all right so we copy this guy here and then we post it okay so now we go to verifying the account ownership so we run this command again uh just remember it has different uh, values okay every single time you just can't repeat doing the same command you have to follow this so this is this now there are option one is the python server option two is the file based uh the file base is probably going to be the simple one so you just click on the file name so what it says is under this url serve this content okay so for whatever it you know i mean you are not going to get your it, it you so it needs to be controlled that you need to own the domain before, before you can really have the ssl certificate for that domain right so it is for that reason i would think um you know you need to create this folder in the your web server root of your web server create this directory the under dot well dash known and then ecme dash challenge and then create this file here i'm going to do it in the background okay so create that file uh, under the well-known and in the ECMI challenge directory. So you create this file and then you copy this content here and then paste it there. All right, so you serve that content and then you click on I'm now serving this content. Okay, so it verified, right? So since I chose aminimal.com and www.aminimal.com to be uh, served by the SSL certificate, I need to verify both of them. So now the, for the second one, I run this command, I get this output, right? And then I'm going to put it in here and then I'm going to do the file too. Uh, so I have to create this file in the same directory. All right. And then I serve this content, right? Okay. And then I click, I'm now serving this content, domain verified. So now we get the certificate, right? So this is the signed certificate, signed certificate. So you're going to say uh, vi.nepal.com.crt. Um, you know, you can say whatever. Uh, this is the certificate file. And now you're going to say the intermediate certificates and then you're gonna save it as vi um, nepal.com.intermediate.crt let's put it in there all right all right so now the certificate is done it's it's actually done right now we need to configure the web server to use this certificate let me see how can i show you that all right give me a second here all right so okay i mean there's this how do i install this right so this is if you are on nginx you can follow this but we are on the apache right so we are gonna follow this so you know if you are not generating this on your um, server you could you know just copy it to the to the server now let me just copy this guy here All right Okay, so I'm going to go to it's a sttpd cont.d. Um, let me see. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to ssl.com.org. I'll just create the ssl.com file, okay? All right, so, um, so let me paste that. Uh, there's one more thing because I'm not using the... Um, Or is I need to load this module and also the virtual host. All 
I mean, we could have actually done it on this one, but you know. So, okay. So we're listening on that. So the server name is going to be um, nepal.com, right? And then it's going to be www.amitnepal.com. Document root, we're just going to do uh, HTML slash summitnepal.com. All right, so now the certificate file, the private domain key, the intermediate dot perm PEM. So, all right, so uh, let's go to TMP. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so we have this, right? Um, we have that we have this oops we have that and then we have the domain key right and the account key account key is not used for this but you know I'm gonna move a star I'm just gonna create okay and we start out key goes to slash submit and we start our CRT goes to slash image, just keeping it safe. All right, so let's see, it's the CVG conf.d, SSL.conf, and here, the certificate file. So the certificate file is gonna be this. This is the certificate file, right? And then the certificate key file is the domain.key, right? So it's going to be that and certificate chain file. This is the intermediate chain file, okay? Uh, all right. So um, now uh, we can just do this. ST. HTML slash on Nepal.com. Right, okay. Uh, let's see. All right, yeah, of course. Um, now let's go to for HTML, MKDR on Nepal.com, CD on Nepal.com, VI index.html, uh, H1 SSL certificate test. All right, H1, all right, so as that, HTTPD minus T, service HTTPD, status, let's check, let's uh, stop. Um, we'll start it. Uh, okay, uh, let me see. Permission, in, okay, well, yeah. See, it's mode 775, I'm at, oh, all right. I'll just do 755. Okay, I'm going to disable um, set enforce, enforce zero. Uh, I'm going to disable disabling the SLinux Linux just to keep this tutorial simple. Service HTTPD restart. All right, so now it's started. Uh, net stat minus two pan grip minus I443. Uh, okay, it's listening on 443. All right, so um, the only thing now I need to do is because that domain, you know, it's on the virtual machine, I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to point it to in my host file. So let me do that in the background real quick. All right, so I pointed amitnepal.com um, to this, so it should not open this anymore. Let me see. Oh, well, service IP table status. Okay, I'll just stop the IP table. So, I mean, it's a separate tutorial I can create if you guys want, but you know, let's see. amitnepal.com. All right, so, okay, this is the, uh, all right, we only configure the HTTPS, so 
see this is the SSL certificate test that page that we created and then you know it's secure there was no warnings whatsoever you get the screen padlock here secure connection and if you look at the certificate detail as the more information and you see this is you know uh, view certificate and then it's it's certified by issued by the let's encrypt authority x1 so you know that's how you you just got the ssl certificate for free so i can come up with that video on in my next video uh with this script it's a little python utility that you can use to uh, automate the entire process so that it checks for the certificate and then renews it every three months so like that so i hope that was helpful um shoot me an uh, email at summit at um, com or just comment in my um youtube video if you have any questions and i'll try my best to get back to you guys as soon as possible thank you and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video always remember these are just the educational videos and i did not warrant anything and i cannot be held liable for any issues whatsoever all right see you in the next video